Hey guys, uh, uh, welcome to day six. We did it. We finally made it through Denmark week. This has been really an amazing, amazing ride on Denmark week. And every single song has been amazing. So I'm really, really excited to hear this next one and kind of finish it off. And from what I hear, we're going to be finishing it off on a high note. Uh, so we're going to change things up a little bit here on Denmark week. And we're going to turn the corner and listen to some rock and roll. I turn, I've been told... Get ready for this because this is really good. The name of the band is Junkyard Drive, and they were formed in 2014. The band is known for its rather energetic rock and roll style, um, so I've been told, and that they've been compared to bands like Motley Crue, Guns N' Roses, and stuff like that. So that's got to be a good thing. I believe the lead singer of the band is a Christian Johansson. And I think he's been with the band, not from the very start, but fairly early on. So he's been with the band for a long time. And I believe they've released four albums so far, with the latest being in 2022. The song we're going to be listening to is called Mr. Rock and Roll. And I I guess this song is from that latest album from 22. So I am looking forward to this. So let me get my headphones on. We're going to finish Norway Week off, apparently in a strong way. So let's see. Hold on. I am ready for this. Junkyard Drive, they got a cool logo. I started playing this to test the um, sound and stuff like I always do. And this is just a still picture. There's, there isn't an actual video with this, but that's fine. We'll just focus more on the lyrics and the music and not so much on the visuals. So, again, this is Junkyard Drive singing um, Mr. Rock and Roll. So, let's hit this. Here we go. Downtown cowboy rolling in the streets Covered in tattoos wearing golden rings I step inside that smoky bar where he's standing Staring at his face and I hear myself asking Who are you, Mr. Rock and Roll? Who are you, Mr. There we go. Yeah. Okay, let's break it right there because we're halfway through. You know, I listen to all different types of music. And if you follow my channel, you'll know that I listen to quite the range. Classical music, girls, rock and roll. There's something about rock and roll, though, that when I hear it, it just brings back my youth. And it's just, it's kind of like the core of who I am when I listen to music. This was really nice. It didn't start out that, that much. I'm not bad, but it didn't start out like, heavy metal or anything like that. And I might go, oh, maybe this isn't going to be that good. But then they kicked it up and they sounded great. I actually, I didn't mention this band, um, but I think they sounded, did you guys get any Scorpions vibes from that? I got a little bit of Scorpions in there too. But anyways, um, there isn't an overabundance of lyrics here. Apparently some guy walks into a bar and sees some guy at the bar who apparently embodies the spirit of rock and roll or something like that and for some reason his curiosity or fascination with this guy is 
pretty strong. So we asked this guy, who is he, Mr. Rock and Roll? And he just says he's a guy living fast um, and having like this risk-taking lifestyle. Basically, he's living the rock and roll lifestyle. Personally, this questioning sounds a bit intrusive just to start asking a guy that you see sitting at a bar. But the other patrons, according to the lyrics, the other patrons seem to have the same curiosity. So maybe there's some basis to his line of questioning. But anyways, I'm loving the rock and roll uh, driving sound to this. It's very clean. I like it a lot. So let's backtrack just a little bit, and then we'll play this to the end. Crank your speakers up, guys. Here we go. Wow, that was fun. Is this typical for this band? You guys got to let me know because that was really fun. Uh, maybe I just needed a dose of rock and roll. Maybe that was it. But, oh, I really enjoyed this. As I've said with other songs, what a great song to be cranking while you're driving down the highway with your windows open. Even at my age, I would crank this one. Uh, and here, it really had such a great uh, classic sound to it, didn't it? Wow. I think the... The best line, I really like this part, the best line that came near the end, and I don't quote me on this, but it was something along the lines of, I want to be bad, but he's bad at it, something like that, which I think is pretty funny. Apparently so bad that he's that he's even asking himself the same question, who are you, Mr. Rock and Roll? Uh, this was fun. I really enjoyed it. Let me get my headphones off. I may crank this one more time just because I feel like hearing it again, and then I'll be back with final thoughts. Hold on. You're right back. Okay, welcome to Final Thoughts. And when I say Final Thoughts, I mean the end of Denmark week. So this was uh, so much fun. This song was like a visit back to like the 80s or 90s. It was wonderful, especially since we're talking about an album that was put out in 2022. So that's kind of impressive that it, it was strong enough um, to kind of pull us back to an era that is long gone. Um, like all the songs in that hard rock era, this song is really driven by those expressive guitars, the electric guitars, and the powerful drums. There were some nice guitar riffs, which I really liked, and that solo was just awesome. And I think that was really, that guitar was really the core of the song. Not to take away from the drums, because they were really uh, providing a solid driving rhythm that really contributed to the overall song as well. But um, just those guitars are something special. I've mentioned a lot about the instrumentation, but let's take just a second and talk about the vocals from Christian. He seems to have a wonderful sound and texture to his voice. You, you really need that in order to pull off some good rock and roll. I thought he was perfect for this song. He managed to throw out a bit of a gritty, raw energy, all while sounding, sounding quite smooth and melodic. So all in all, I really enjoyed this, and this was the perfect or maybe the only way to end Denmark week. This was wonderful. You know, looking back um, this week, it's been fun for sure. And I think these groups represented a, 
diverse spectrum of Danish music. And despite their varied genres, because we did cover several, these artists do share, I think, a commonality in their strong emphasis on lyrical content and emotional deliveries. I mean, some of the most emotional songs that I've reacted to have been this week. They're just really, really wonderful. And I think these bands, hats off to them, because I think they did a wonderful job of showing us the rich musical landscape of Denmark. And I promise you that a bunch of these artists you're going to hear from again, because especially if there was one that just jumps out, um, Tina Dico, um, I loved her. And definitely going to be doing more from her without a doubt. So, all right, guys, listen, I hope you enjoyed Denmark Week. I loved it. Thank you to all of you who gave me the recommendations because without you, I wouldn't have known what to do. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate it. And if you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. And if you consider following my page with that notification bell, that'd be awesome. And I do have that Patreon page I talked about. So listen, guys. Thank you for spending the week with me. This has been fun. Remember, next week we have, and I'm giving you a heads up, we've got, oh, I wrote it down somewhere, now I don't know what it is, Nightwish. Um, I can't remember. I know I wrote it down, but now I can't find it. Nightwish, John Miles, and Lara Fabian. So that's going to be up next week. So you guys have a heads up. You know what to expect. All right, guys, listen, only life is priceless. Please make each and every day count. I hope you enjoyed Denmark Week. It's been fun. Peace out. Talk to you guys next time. Bye-bye.